Good morning, guys. Do I have a treat for you today? I have a couple of huskies. So first things first, I am, you know, I I'm trying to show you guys more and more of what I have to do to be able to groom the dogs, what all is involved. So first things first, is I have to rinse out this tub. This pink stuff is a drink, an old drink that I dumped out, but I just rinse the bathtub down, get all the loose hair, because these are my first dogs of the day, so I just wanna, you know, fresh, clean start. Just rinse. This is from uh, that black, aggressive dog, little aggressive dog I did yesterday. You can see this is full. I just take this, squeeze the water out and put it in here. Ooh, that's hot. Try to rinse all this down. If you guys don't want to watch this, skip ahead. Okay, so then I'm just going to put this back down and uh, then I'm going to make new soap. I use my soap for up to two days, and then I get new soap made. If you don't change often enough, it bacteria and fungus and stuff can grow in your water and cause skin conditions on the dogs. So I just drain the bathing system tube real quick, and then I just uh, dump this out. Stick it under there and let it fill up. And I let it run until it's all clear and then I'll fill it up to about here with water and then I'll put 10 squirts of soap and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I just fill it to that line and then I put 10 squirts. How many squirts you put in is going to depend on a bunch of things. If I was hand bathing, if I was hand bathing, I would never put that much soap in. Um, I maybe would put two or three, but since I'm using the bathing system and it dilutes it further, then I do the 10. It's 10 ounces of uh, soap. Turn the bathing system on. Make sure to check the flow of it. Make sure everything's flowing good. Turn the water off and then we go get the dog. So you guys, this, these are dogs I've done before. They'll be in two separate videos, but um, done them before. They're huskies. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'm go this way. No, we're going this way. Come on, come on, pup, come on. Come on. I know, you know where you're going, huh? Buddy, 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 buddy. Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. You can't be pulling. <sighs> You're okay. Good boy. Can you sit? Can you sit? I have groomed these guys before on my channel. Huskies are talkative. Um, if you guys don't want to listen to that, then I'd suggest you go watch another video because they, tell, they will talk the entire time. Come over here. 
Come over here. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so we're gonna turn this just to warm water. Okay, and then we're just gonna get started. Feel good? You stink a little bit when I got you wet. Does that feel good? I get asked all the time in the comments, does, doesn't that hurt the dog? No, it doesn't hurt. I can do this all day long. It, it actually feels pretty good. It, it doesn't hurt. Can you turn this way? Yeah, turn that way. Turn this way. Good boy, there we go. You're okay. You're okay, we're almost done. Wait, I gotta get this side. You're okay. Okay. Turn the soap back on.
We'll be using a high velocity dryer as long as they will tolerate it. Rinse all the soap off. Okay. Squeegee with our hands. Okay, take a towel. You're okay, buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, why I wear ear protection and the dogs don't. First of all, yeah, I could use like a happy hoodie, but then I can't, nope, get down, down. But then I can't get the head dry. Um, what you guys don't understand is when this dog comes back in, let's say he comes back in eight weeks, I have groomed upwards of 200 dogs by then. So when this dog hears the dryer one time, I've heard it up to 200 times. Um, and so not, not only that, but you know, the average lifespan of dogs is eight to 10 years. The average human life is like 72 to 78 years old. So I am at a much, much, much greater risk for hearing loss than the dogs. So we're gonna get him dry. First things first, ear protection for me. I have to blow him out because all this loose hair is in there. And um, huskies are dramatic, if you guys haven't noticed that. Easy. Come on. Slow down, slow down. No, oh, come on. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. So, get these going. When he's all dry, we'll get him finished. Okay, so we're gonna clean up the aftermath. If you don't wanna watch this, skip ahead. I have so many people that comment and say, you should fast forward. No, that's why YouTube gives you the option to do it yourself because not everybody, you know, wants to skip ahead. Got that rinsed off. Got that one rinsed off. Then we're just going to rinse this down again. And there's all the hair from the dog. So now, before I can do the other dog, I gotta put these back in. And there you go. Now we can get started on the next dog. All right, guys, we're gonna get this back. This guy it brushed out. He's still a little damp in places. We'll put him back in the dryer after. There, his nails are pretty short. I'm not gonna have to trim them, so I'm just gonna brush him out. And then we'll put a bandana on him, give him some doggy cologne, and he'll be done. What do you think, boy? What do you think? Not much undercoat. Come here. That's the edge of the table. If you guys want huskies, you better make sure because they talk a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching.